It's bothering you? I can't help it. I'm gonna bring something up right now. Do you understand what we're doing with this show? What? What? We talk about all the sh** that pisses us off. We are fixing the world one bone at a time. Everybody out there has got a bone to pick. And this is a bone to pick podcast. You got bones. Cheap paper towel dispensers. We got bones. Cops on scooters. I got a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna go nuts. Here we go. Everybody's got a bone to pick. I'm Paul Verzi. I'm Robert Kelly. And this is a Bone to Pick podcast. Very special Bone to Pick. Very special because we have a guest. We have a... We're selective with our guests. We're very selective with our guests. We don't have people on every week, every episode. Because we don't need it. Yeah, no, 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 no. offense. No, no, I can tell you don't need it. We this don't. Is... <laughs> <laughs> this <is good. laughs> can I just say something? Oh, God. Can I just say I mean, something again? it's your again? show, too. It's how you're up there. But why, why, why the dirty napkins again on your side? You got your pass, you got your, your zen, your juicy Lucy. How come it's always What'd like that? What'd you call that? it? A juicy Lucy? That's a hamburger bag. <laughs> yeah, it is. From what, from what city? Uh, oh, I think it's from um, Sant... Minnesota. Sant Minnesota. Sant Minnesota. I don't know where the Sam came from, but... Uh... Sam Minnesota, my favorite state. Our guest today is Zoltan Cassis, everybody. Zoltan yeah. Cassis hey. up, buddy? is here. You? I'm good. Thank you for having me. That felt like I was on the subway. And I was like, I'm like, I'll just get off at the next stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys that know each other, you know each other. You know what's funny? I, and I am one of these. I gotta I gotta say You are one of these. I am one of these. When I saw his last name. Yes. You know, and at the end it's you the are no terrorists on the show. No, no, no. I thought no, it's, it looked Greek. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. Greek. I'm, do you get that a lot, right? All the time. Yes. Greek, yeah, yeah. So, because when you see the AS, it's either AS. I, I was like, oh, this kid's Greek. This is, yeah. you know, and then he said he was uh, hung- Hungarian. 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 If it was Greek, it would have been like Castopolopolis. Like, there would have been a lot more, <laughs> like, you know, like, it would have been a lot more add ons. <laughs> It could have been, but I, I am one stuff. of those. Like you I are. found out, Caitlin. I found out Caitlin Clark. This whole this woman with the WNBA. I found out she was Italian, and I said the hate's gonna Clark, stop. <laughs> Clark is a, her her, is her uh, I think her mother. Her mother. So she's Italian. So, so she's Italian, and the I, father. I don't. know. Is Clark always Irish though? I don't know, but it's not. Can, Mike, can we find out what Caitlin Clark? The we, we know what it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I found out Caitlin Clark was Italian, and as soon as I heard that, I just, I just, I can't, I can't take can't any hate. hate. No, yeah. yeah, you can't. English, hate. Scottish, and Irish. Irish, Italian. Okay, English, Scottish. Irish, Italian. She's me. What I am. She's you. The best. She, if you had a jump <laughs> shot. The best. <laughs> yeah. What? The best. You're Scottish. I said it. Irish. Irish, Italian. Oh, okay. Yeah, Irish, Italian. Okay. Yeah, it's better because it's two different worlds. A Greek and Italian is the same world, just fucking. No, the fucking. Greek, but I'm Sicilian. The Greek waters it down. The Greek waters the Sicilian down. Yeah, yeah, but it's still. Giannis Papas made a good point. He said, "If, if, if full Sicilian, I would have gone crime." Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's in us. You think Greeks don't do crime? Not like Sicilians. No. Okay. It's Sicilians are like the like the Olympic athletes of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, Sicilians. They, they used to be. Yeah, not anymore. No, they don't do they don't do crime the way they used to. No, no, they're all they're all legit now. There's too much technology for crime. Yeah, it's easier now. That's when the documentaries no. come out, and you're like, it wasn't no, but even you could that get hard. Caught, but now you could get traced now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's so true. what you're saying, Italians aren't smart enough to not get caught. <laughs> <laughs> we could only do it when there was no cameras in the phones. <laughs> there was no phones. You had to you had to ring the thing. There was one phone, pay phone, the thing. We covered our mouths. That was their technology. Hey, listen, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna go whack that guy. I don't want you to kill his wife. That really okay. was it. That I know. Was, <laughs> like in, in Casino, when it, when he was walking, they just talked yeah. like this. That was it. Now, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. now forget they it. They don't know how to do that now. It doesn't no. work. Now <laughs> they track your cell phone. <laughs> they try to be on the phone with the radio Ooh. up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just try to whisper in. Yeah. Back of radio on the phone. Who does that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you do that? Dude, back in the day, they used to have that shitty camera from a fucking van. Now they, oh, like the surveillance yeah, van. Yeah, now they just turn yeah. this on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's all right. Nice talking to you. That fizzled out. Quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, what, oh, no, what I was mood? trying to agree with you. I know it was my fault. I agree. No, it wasn't. I your went fault. like one of these. But then you I threw it down and went moved on. I know it was okay. my fault. I took the hit. You didn't have to. I did. We got bones. Oh my God! 
What? I don't like your mood swing. I don't have a mood we swing. We have a guest. Pep it up. <laughs> what? I don't like your... I, don't, I gave him a great intro. Yeah, relax oh, a days good. ago. I gave him a great nice. intro, yeah. man. Fucking Zoltan Cassis. Kid's got a killer special out. It's on Kids. YouTube right now. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Honorary Jones. Honorary Jones. Honorary... Why, what does that mean? Uh, it's uh, rele released on Father's Day. I grew up without a dad. But there was like a guy who was like club, a buddy. hey, What's up? No dad. yeah. But my best friend's dad became like my honorary dad, and really? his last name was Jones. So. I molested. <laughs> no. Yes, but not by him. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a true comic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to throw Mr. You're Jones like under the bus for that one. That wasn't him. You were honorary, so it's honorary. He was your father. Right? Yeah, so you're one yeah. Of them, he right? treated me like a like oh, a that's son. nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's and you're awesome. you're a, you're a cleaner comic. Yeah. Unlike us. Well, you know, I used to be, but then all these dry bar people started coming out, so I started kind of cleaning it up. That's good. Is that why you yeah. cut your hair? I, You know what? <laughs> I cut my hair because of the pandemic. I had long hair and, the, and yeah. we couldn't go anywhere, and it was just up in a bun, and I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. So I just cut it just all change, off. Just got to change, right? Yeah, yeah. Most people went the other way. They grew out beards and grew oh, out their dude, hair, dude. and I, I cleaned it up. How many lunatics did you see? Remember purple, blue? <laughs> dude, comics lost their minds during pandemic. Wow, Pink. Because yeah. <laughs> well, well, we were fucking performing in a shed on Zoom. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I did it one time. I had no pants on. Uh, it's hilarious. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. did a college gig in a. Uh, I was on the road working in Florida because it was the only place you could work during the God pandemic. God bless America. Yeah. God bless. God bless DeSantis. <laughs> Florida and Texas. Those were the two places yep. I worked. Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the two great states. <laughs> <laughs> but I got I got a college booking that I was doing earlier in the day, so I had to go down to the conference room of this hotel that had the good Wi-Fi, and I'm in this giant boardroom doing stand up into my laptop and, oh. the, and the janitor walked in because he didn't know that someone was in there. Did you start doing crowd work? <laughs> <laughs> he just caught me in the middle of like an act out and then we looked at each other. I'm like, we're both at work, aren't we? And he just like awkwardly left while these poor students are watching me. Uh, it, was, it was a nightmare. It was so sad. Uh, that was the worst. Comedy during the pandemic was the worst. Yeah. yeah I remember People the, standing on the back of pickup dude, trucks. The seller had plexiglass in front of you. Like you were visiting a prisoner. <laughs> no, the worst. And you, I the worst was as you're doing your set. Yeah. You could see yourself. Uh, so I'm just looking never, at me no, going. How, how could you have done that? Huh? How could you have said yes to that? I did one. Oh, okay. I did one and never did it again. And I never did a Zoom comedy show. One comedy club had you go into Central Park. And it looked like they had like a karaoke speaker. Yep. <laughs> and you were just holding it, and like people are playing frisbee, and like some people were sit, adults in, in sitting like uh, Indian style. Or oh, can you say that today? Yeah. Yeah. And and the people are just like, yeah. Wow. So what's going on? Broad daylight, and it's like, <laughs> you uh, my whole thing was, can you just say Indians. no? You can't say dirty Indian <laughs> style. <laughs> Go ahead and get a mark on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you can't say that. <laughs> you shouldn't have say yeah. that. That's Mike, uh, be, be, be on alert, Mike. Um, yeah. You can't say, you know, the ones with the dots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like the wait, chick wait, on the butter. Before we get into the bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, before, dude, I remember watching one of those shows, and I just saw the guy bombing, and then an old guy just go up, shake his head, and get up and walk through the field. Oh. Like what? But the long walk, you can see him for miles just walking through the field. He would rather walk a mile than to sit and listen to this horse shit under a tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I I do blame a lot of comics. You had to say no. Comics needed to say no. And certain, t listen. I know people needed money, but sometimes you got to go. My comedy's not going to work for this. Like this right. is not. Like yeah, I don't want to bomb on grass. I don't want to bomb when somebody's playing can jam. Yeah, with their fucking I don't want, children. I don't want to bomb in front of people on their balcony. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys do the Zoom comedy? No, I know. I never did. No? no. Oh, those were soul taking. I, I yeah. that's bad. Yeah, soul taking. I uh, I mean, I did these on stage too, but like. I did a company Christmas party on oh, Zoom, God. and I, I would do one in person. <laughs> yeah. I had to watch an audience member close their laptop. Oh, screen. God. <laughs> well, well, I'm in the middle of a joke. <laughs> they didn't even turn off and like leave the meeting. I saw this. <laughs> I was like, I could have gone without that. Sultan, where are you from, man? Uh, I grew up in San Diego, born in Hungary, but mainly grew up in San Diego. San Diego's yeah, great. Yeah, San Diego's great. American oh. Comedy Company. Hungary's great too, right? I mean, I left when I was four. I liked it. Never while went I was, back? No, we never went back. Uh, 
but we didn't leave under any weird circumstances or anything. But yeah, we just never went to visit. You ever gonna go back? I wanted to this year. I wanted to take my mom, yeah. and she doesn't want to go. You got family there still? All my outside of my mom and my brother, all my family is. There. I don't. Know, is hungry? Is hungry a bad place? I mean, it's not a bad I place. Don't I don't think Budapest so. Is, I, I, it's supposed amazing. to be gorgeous. I've watched Bourdain go there. It looks amazing. I just love fucking Verzi. No, I went to Budapest. <laughs> you I, did with who? I went. I opened for Bur Budapest. The oh. last time I opened for him, which was seven years ago, we did Germany, and one of the stops was Budapest, Hungary, and it was one of the only places that it felt like two places felt like you were in America, and it was Vienna. And and Budapest, really? like, like American crowd, like right. like if you you Budapest, I'm not joking. The theater in Budapest felt like we were in Chicago. Wow, it was it was insane. Uh, food was great. The uh, place was place was great. Yeah, that's the last time I uh, was yeah was was that that way was. So with, there you go. Or, yeah, uh, we're gonna get into bones now, Mikey. Bone, I mean, Jesus huh? Christ, can we segue a little? Well, he's going. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he but he, he's bone. supposed to do that, yeah. but you're not supposed to go. What are you doing, Mike? <laughs> he's supposed to fuck. He's doing it subtly, so that's yeah. a that's a thing. So they don't now, know. I know, but I'm now, talking are, Budapest, like and I gotta fuck it. You're I, a I, dog, I, squirrel. <laughs> I mean, just fucking. It was like a, a, a cat with a laser. It was just a yeah, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> just say, just get into the bones. All right, let's get into the bones now. No, don't do it like that. Uh, well, it's better than, Mikey, what are we going to do now, bones? <laughs> you know what we should do? What? You want to get into the bones let's now? Get the bones. <laughs> let's get into the bones. Let's get into the bones. Who's going first? So we have our guests go last, right? Or does our or it's actually up, it's up, up to, to the you. guest? I I don't care. I'll go whenever. When do you want to go? You want to go middle? You want to go front? You want, let me go middle. You want to suck? You want to get fucked? Or you want to? <laughs> yeah, oh. I want to do a feature spot on this. So <laughs> let me go in the middle. <laughs> All, right, no, All right, I'll go first. He's uh, poor kid's clean. I go. You want to get sucked and fucked? <laughs> yeah, you want to yeah, jerk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to jerk? You want to suck? Well, you yeah, yeah. well, I mean, I said feature, so right in the middle. It's <laughs> right, a mixture yeah. of all, all right, three. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, you're up. All right, here's my bone, everybody. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we got uh, we got a guest here. We got Dylan in the house, right? Yeah, we got everybody's here. Everybody's here. We all know how this works. Mikey, you can't eat that. What did I do? You can't eat that. What like Pringles? Yeah. Why? Why? They just what they found the chemicals that they found in Pringles are killing people and causing cancer. I ate fifteen of them. It's one of the worst things a doctor was you on. You saw saying, him throw them at no, me. I just saw it. I you didn't see. You saw it. him throw them. I listen to me. You saw me eat them. A doctor just came on. It's one of the worst things you could put in your body, and it causes cancer. And you just fucking no, watched I me just, eat them. No, I didn't. But yeah, I was. I didn't did. register it. Register cancer? Your friend dying? <laughs> no, no. That doesn't register. <laughs> okay, listen. Just it's you only had a couple. At 15. What? I feel something. You feel something? I feel cancer. No, <laughs> no you don't. It's too quick. As I'm sucking on a zin. <laughs> you fucking cigars. Sick, I was just thinking that. I'm worried about a stupid Pringle. All right. Here, my bone is this. Bone one. I was watching a documentary about cults. Okay? Cults. Here's the thing, man. I, I, my bone is the stupidity of these people that, that when the cult leader calls the wife and, and husband into his office mm -hmm. and goes, listen, we don't know why, but, but God is saying, I need to have sex with your wife. And then the husband goes, yeah, we didn't know why, but it was just the craziest thing. And, and these people actually buy it. I'm watching these people also, the TikTok cult doc, where these the dancers called Dancing for the Devil, where this guy actually started a church and a management company where he has the dancers come in, go to church. Then he's taking a huge percentage of all their money and then wants them to be estranged from their families so they could get all these millions of followers on TikTok. And the level of stupidity of these people got me so angry that, that your mother and father are going, we love you. We just want you to come home. You could even go back and like, oh, he doesn't think it's a good idea. It's the craziest thing. And then he started to get in trouble. So then he goes, maybe you should go visit, but then come back. And... He, this is what he said to them. If you stay close to me, you're closer to God. If you don't, you'll be cursed and you'll be in hell and you're going to go to hell. And they fucking believed it. He had a massage chair. And if he goes, if you want to get closer to God, you're going to, you know, give me a massage. Maybe we'll have sex. These people are the dumbest fucking people. <laughs> I, it got me angry watching it. I thought of my kids and I thought of how these people should be beaten. They should be beaten.
The one person or the other people? If you believe what this guy is saying, you should be beaten. You should be beaten. So you should have your wife raped and, and be beaten? No, no. I don't want anybody raped. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think so, you're stupid if you get raped. So if you no, get, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Can I get I, out no, of the no, shot? No, 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 no. <laughs> listen, listen. I want out, Sean. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want out of the shot, No, no, no. Too. Listen, 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 listen. You, you made a mistake. No, no, no. Listen, listen. We're listen, on, Mike. We're on Paul's one. Mike, Go on Mike, you know what I mean? I don't mean you're stupid if you get hey, raped. I mean, do a, do a single. Please you're stupid if you believe what this man is saying and you allow him to do this to you. Right. That's that's what I meant. Of right. course, I don't believe anybody is stupid right, if they get raped. Okay, okay, okay. Stop saying. Okay, it. Okay. Stop saying. <laughs> just the way you say it is bad. I just can't believe people could be manipulated and and to that level. And I, I and it got me angry, and it's the dumbest thing. So my bone is anybody that can listen to a cult leader say all of these ridiculous things for his benefit, his finances, his sexuality, all of these things, and you're just I'm estranged from your family because of that. To me, it's it just drives me nuts. That's my bone, and I'm sticking to it. I I agree with you, dude. It's it's frustrating. The cult people. It's like how low are you? Like how much did your parents not teach you the yes. fact that? Yeah. If first of all, if a guy took me and my wife into a room, I was like, "Look, I'm gonna have to have sex with your wife." I'd be like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm gonna bang that young brat over <laughs> dancing by the fire that smells. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang. Is that cool if I bang her? <laughs> well, something's saying that that needs to happen so, too. Something. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, Sarah up front is, <laughs> smells like a goat, but has her tits out all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna go bang her while you're banging my my 50 year old wife yeah. that's premenopause that's probably gonna get hot during this and start complaining. But she makes a great chicken catchatory. Uh, uh, <laughs> How funny would it be if he calls you and your wife in and he's like, "Listen, something's telling us the spirits tell something's telling us that I need to have sex with your wife." And you just go, "Oh, thank God, yeah. thank God." Dude. I would, I'd, I'd be like this: "You're better off with me, dude." <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You want to come? Yeah. <laughs> you want to come? I'd pick me. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it's that's it's, cults are so fucking ridiculous. It's it's it's. Pre I love that your answer. If you were in a cult, was well, I would negotiate. <laughs> I'd be yeah. like, well, you can have this, but I want that over there. I but yeah, I think there should be some sort of punishment. Like you know how like convicts can't vote. Yeah, I think like if you were in a cult, you're not allowed to vote anymore. Cause like, not allowed to vote. You should. Yeah. You, you should have to live in a certain section of the <laughs> town that we drive through. We're like, oh yeah, this is them. Like 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 that guy saying that if you drink this Kool Aid, we're gonna be on some. Went like we're gonna be. They put. He made him wear the he black Nikes. Him. No, that's, that's San different. Diego. Oh yeah, yeah, the black was, Nikes yeah. with the they white were, swoosh, and heaven. then they were they, they were gonna go. No, but there was also gonna be some like space travel, yeah. a comet travel, and they're just laying there with dead bodies with <laughs> wow. sheets. And it's like, can you like listening? And then when you look at the guy's face to who said it, you're like, you believed that? <laughs> Lunatic. Like, what if, what yeah. if it was real though? What if all those people on a comet <laughs> having a blast, just like this? Woo! Woo! This is the shit. Uh, yeah. They're all in Jordans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just having sex on a comet. Just smoking sticks up there. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> dude, I'm so glad we ascended. <laughs> Fucking San Diego sucked. That was <laughs> all the homeless. That, that was San Diego, huh? That was, it was Rancho Santa Fe. That was the rich neighborhood. That's like where Canelo Alvarez lives. Like all these like oh, really? famous loaded. They were in a mansion. They like together bought this giant mansion and killed all themselves in there. Wow. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. I mean, a lot of the cults are smart, though. The leaders of the cults. Well, this guy with there was the a cult, church. Yeah. There was a cult that they went into a town that was shit. It was all just old white people. And they went in and bought a house. Then they bought another house. And they kept offering these people. They were at the end of their life. They're like, we'll give you way over asking. And they were like, all right, fuck it. And they just grabbed the money, got a condo down in Boca Raton and called it a day. And they started, and then they started voting. Right? Because mm -hmm. there was a lot of them. So they got on the board. Then they started changing the names of the streets to like, you know, Happy Way and, you know, <laughs> Mazaquani Lane, whatever the fucking cult leader yeah, was. Yeah. They took over the whole <laughs> wow. town. 
So yeah, you got to be careful of that shit, man. Yeah. Cult, cults aren't as dumb. The people that run them are smart people. Well, no, this guy, this well, you, guy that's doing the, the TikTok dancing for the devil, he has a church and a management company. Yes. So he's got his bases covered. What's his so, management? I don't have a manager. Is, is, <laughs> is, yeah. it's, you, oh, you didn't see it? No, I didn't see it. Oh, it's, yeah. it's cringe. It's a humor. really good documentary. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, it's, it's, on, on, on Netflix? It's, it's, Netflix, it's so yeah. frustrating, man. Like this girl just away from her family. It's just ridiculous. But then some of them got wise to it, and they're yeah. going like, hmm, I earned this much money dancing, <laughs> and uh, he's taking, and they showed, like, the pie of money, yes. and it just went, like, down, down, and then, like, what the guy who started it's getting, and what they're getting, and, like, a couple of the dudes were just like, you know, I'm getting at it, but if you, he says, if you leave, you're, you're cursed, and you'll be in hell. Right. So that, you know. That's how he got him. That's how he got him. And dancers have never been accused of being smart. And if you don't (laughs) join our Patreon, you'll be cursed and go to hell. (laughs) That's a great. Seriously, that's a fact. (laughs) (laughs) And you have to, we have to have sex with your wife. The the bone to pick cult? (laughs) Yeah. 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 When you see us at a live event, we have to. I'm sorry. We don't know why it happened. Yeah. But it just was, we were told. to pick our bone. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Zoltan. That was a good bone. That was a good bone. You're pick. on. That's that's you, buddy. I get to hold. This is like a therapy session. Sure, where, you want to go last? Uh, I'll go last. Okay. I'll, yeah, you should go. Usually, our guest goes last. Yeah, no? they usually. I'll go, go last. last. I'll, yeah, go, yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Just in case. Of course. I feel like you're gonna have a good bone. I maybe I won't. I don't know. I mean, that's no way. I had a backup bone, and it was actually that documentary. Really? So, yeah, I had a backup bone in case I hope my you bone is your bone. And then I'm, I, I'm like, well. And you're like, oh, well, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> Bobby's and bone my... is when he was born in Hungary, and I'll, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, bone two. My bone is this. Enough. There it is. Enough. He always pauses and then does this. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Okay. (laughs) Enough. Enough with the making of the fake trailers for movies that I want to see. Oh. Listen, man. I'm so angry at this. I know which one you're talking about. Which one? Soda. What? The Club Soda Kenny one? No. Oh. What the (laughs) fuck? I mean a real movie. Oh. Wait, what? (laughs) Wait, I thought, wait a minute, I thought you said the <laughs> fake movies. They're fake trailers of movies that exist. They're making trailers for movies mm-hmm. that exist that you would want to see. Yeah, you know what I mean? No. F- fans are making these. Fan, oh, it's, okay. but they present it on Facebook or on social media. Got it. Like Thunder Tropic 2. You know, mean Tropic Thunder. What? Tropic Thunder, Thunder 2. Yeah. Like I saw a trailer for Thunder. Tropic Thunder 2. I would watch I Tropic. Was the, I, w- I was in the middle of my thing and you went like, Kenny 2? <laughs> you were so confident. I'm so to Kenny. That was a great trailer. Did you watch it? All right, go ahead. They're making these trailers. And you get excited. I get, I'm like, oh, oh my shit. God. Yeah. Thunder Tropic 2. It's Tropic. I know, I did oh. it to make you mad. Oh, okay. Tropic. That's, that's the name of the sequel is Thunder Tropic. Yeah. <laughs> Tropic Thunder 2, right? I'm like, oh I my. I see that too. And I, I mean, I'm like, I click, yeah. and, it, and it looks so real. That I, and I'm, so, I'm 53. Stop getting excited over a trailer. And yeah. I get so excited. And I click on it, and they make it so good that you're like, wait a minute. Is this, yeah. and then, is this. And then they're taking other movie parts, and, you, and it's actually like a good trailer. You're like, yeah. this is going to be, wait a minute, that's Iron Man. That's not, <laughs> that's not. That's You're not, like, wait, that happened already. That's Jumanji. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not. Wait a minute, that's Meet the Parents. Fucking. Yeah. And you're like, this is all bullshit. And they always get me. Because I, I, I'm, I'm always looking for that hole to be filled somewhere. You know what I mean? And I always pick a movie that everybody would want to see the they sequel Because I would love to see Tropic Thunder 2. Oh, I, I mean, they that. would never yeah. make it now. They can't but make they it. They can't make and it And I was now. like, oh. Yeah. And it always says, you know, woke movement's over. You know, Tropic Thunder 2 is coming to theaters. And it, and it looks so professional, so perfect. Robert Downey's back in blackface. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, shit, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, but he's, not even, he's Chinese now. <laughs> yes. yeah. oh, hello. Oh, my 
god. I like, oh, Dude, you that want to come killer. into my house? <laughs> I'm just a man being another man, yeah. trying to be another man. <laughs> trying to be an Asian man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. so. they, they do it, they, they do it so well, and they know that they're getting you, and, they, and there's no hint. Because they're getting the clicks, that's what it is. They want the clicks. clicks. And I give them the clicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate giving, I don't like giving my clicks. My clicks, I like to. I, you, you want? I cherish a click. Yeah, <laughs> I cherish a. You click. You want the click to be worth it and have I, a real movie I coming. I want the click to be worth it, and I'm. I almost. I almost. One of them I sent to somebody. Dude, this is coming up. It's not real stupid. <laughs> uh, you fucking idiot. They're not making that again. You know what I'd like to see again? What? MacGruber 2. Oh, that's another one. What? MacGruber 2. I think they have MacGruber 2. MacGruber was a great movie. I think, yeah. Yeah. And they do that all the time. Oh, and there's no possible. That's a great bone, Bobby. There's no possible way they're making the sequel to these movies. This is not happening. You know what I mean? Uh, Adam Sandler is making yeah, Happy, Happy Gilmore, Gilmore too. too. I saw Casino 2. Oh. And I was like, that would be. How great would that yeah, be? Yeah, they're like what 80 something now. <laughs> they're like, get me, they can't have They me. can't get into the casino. Yeah. Joe Pesci's coming they're, out. They're, 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 they're in a they cart show, with an yeah. oxygen tank. They, they, just, they just showed a hand coming out like a zombie. And I was like, Joe Pesci came back. They all look like Remo from what the, the f- first one in court the, with the oxygen tank. What the fuck kind of people are they? They fucking hit me with a car. I'm not a fucking cocksuckers. Dude, it was, <laughs> it's just him at home alone. You know, getting hit with a paint can. What the fuck? <laughs> I am sick to my stomach oh, with these because they catch me because I'm, you want to talk about being dumb cult people, I'm so into You having, want it because I want, want it. it. I want it. Yeah. And they know we want it. They know we want it. You know it. what I saw? And they are making it. What? The Eddie Murphy, uh, Axel Fol- the Beverly Hills. They, they are making, making a new ma- No, oh, no, it's, it's, it's coming out July 14th. It's coming out oh, on Netflix. Great. It's coming yeah. out. Yeah. not going to be good. Don't say that. Can't be good. Why? Because they made three and it sucked. Oh, but that can be forgotten. Remember uh, the sixth Rocky, Rocky Balboa, or the fifth one? Yeah, the fifth, fifth one, one was, was terrible. Bad, but then they made that one. So they what, made the one Rocky Balboa. The fourth Balboa. one was not that. The fourth that was what? the Russia one. How that dare you? They stopped the Cold that's, War. He lifted rocks in a <laughs> I mean, sack. That, that, yeah, I mean that's that that's that stopped Russia. I yeah, mean, that's what freed my country. I mean, that, yeah, that yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna pass on all his information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, Burr, listen. <laughs> That's how Russia, the Cold War, <laughs> Germany was split right down the middle for them. And then Rocky came out and they took that wall down. <laughs> they said, if I can change and you can yeah. change, we can all change. Yeah. You didn't They're, like Rocky 4? Rocky 4 no, was Rocky good. 4 was good. Oh, yeah. Rocky, like, Rocky 3 was great. Yes. I mean, Rocky all the way up. Rocky before, 5 was terrible. Rocky 4 was when it was, it was, it was great. But it wasn't Rocky three. Right. It wasn't Rocky two. I love how Rocky, Rocky five. 1. He lost all of his money because he let his brother in law sign papers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rocky, yeah. <laughs> like he wasn't there. He's like, sorry, Rock, I signed that. <laughs> and he just lost everything. Buddy. But then he's Zoltan's right. Rocky six, Rocky Balboa came out. Balboa, that was and it good. was and it was when like the it video game simulated that he could probably fight this guy. It, it was, was better. It was, it good. was better, better, but it yeah. wasn't great. It was good. It was better than five, but five was terrible. It was good, and it brought it back. It was fine with the chair and the tree at the graveyard. I get it. The speech but to his Creed, son. Creed. Oh, Creed. Yeah. Creed is when it yeah. when it got was really when they reinvented it. it was yeah. Creed. You know That's what I'm true. saying? But you know, any any time they go pe- past three, it usually stinks. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. It's, I mean, listen, there are two great sequels of all time, in my what? opinion. I mean, Godfather Two. Godfather Two was better and than Top one. Gun Maverick. Talk, all right. That's those, those are two of the best sequels I've ever seen. Those are the two of the great. I mean, yeah, Godfather. I think Rocky Two was better than Rocky One. If he, you're a comedy, silly comedy fan, Airplane Two made me laugh, <laughs> and uh, and all the Naked Guns. Yeah, we know why you like fucking all those. What? We know why you like. All why? Those. Because your pal wrote them. Oh, no. Who wrote them? No. 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 There's a story behind this. We've gone through it many times. Zucker, David Zucker. Okay. Wrote yeah, Airplane he wrote, Two. He wrote, no. He wrote Airplanes, all the airplanes and the Naked Guns. Oh. And I was talking to him at the Impractical Jokers cruise. No. That what? Back up. <laughs> what? Back up. Are we are we are we doing Back this again? Up. Back uh, up. Back uh, up. Yeah. Me and him. 
pals, smoking cigars, going on the Joker cruise yep. at the hotel. Okay. I come out night before we hang out, smoking, talking about, you know, hey, do it, we're doing, uh, with me and you, uh, pals, all right, right, you know, fucking great, we have a great week, blah, blah, blah. I come down the next day, I see Verzi across the hall in the lobby, right? Talking to David Zucker. I don't know who fucking David Zucker <laughs> is physically. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? I who don't can know pick? what that guy looks exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. It could be fucking uh, David Douchebag. I'm talking to one of my comedy... <laughs> From across the room, I go, Verze! Nothing. No, that's not true. I said, Verz! Nothing. No. Nothing. And then he goes, is he famous? No, <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was fucking somebody because he was ignoring me like the plague. I'm talking to the guy that wrote Airplane. Airplane. So what, Airplane? Airplane's like one of the greatest movies, funniest movies of all time. It's not Tropic Thunder. Anyways, <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll get into that later. But you know what? It's not about us. It's bone about time. you, sir. Thank you. It bone time, Altus. baby. Yes, it uh, is. <laughs> I thought about my bone to pick. You guys had such good speeches. It was like you, we were in court or it's something. It's our show. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we do this. <laughs> I'm going to try to bring that energy here. Uh, my bone to pick is my That's wife. That's your camera. Look right in the camera. All right. That's your two. say it. My, that top one. You pointed at the wrong yeah. one. I, is that two? That's, that's <laughs> one. That's just that's two. his camera. That that's yours. That's ours. But that's his. He's cam. got a fourth. Oh, four he, cam, oh we got a four camera. Four cam. Cam. Dude, thank you, Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> four four camera, cam. Right up there. I'm gonna have to get that. Bone three. <laughs> uh, uh, my bone to pick is uh, restaurants that yep. have a dress code. And you still show up dressed nice, but they're like, you don't have a blazer. So then oh. they bring out some, like, giant dead guy's blazer. Oh. And they <laughs> drape it on you. Because yes. that, that happened to me on my birthday. My wife took me out to a nice restaurant. What's the restaurant? Uh, what you recommend? R River Cafe. River Cafe in Dumbo. Old school. Brooklyn. Everyone's in, yeah, in Brooklyn. Everyone's in tuxedos. It's on the water. It's very nice. And we show up. I'm wearing my best button-down shirt. I got my nice jeans on. I'm ready to. Ready. <laughs> I grew up in the trailer park. Okay, <laughs> Bring it down. I mean, I mean, you said everybody's yeah. in tuxedos, so you go. I got my best dress <laughs> buttoned yeah. down. Dude, I got my, I got my Wranglers. Blue jeans. Dude, I got my Wranglers got on my, from. My, dude, I got my. Coles. I got my my boomerang. My real dad gave me from hung, Hungary. <laughs> my rabbit killer. Brand new Hanes underwear. Dude, I mean, I got, everything was dude, brand new. I got my chain wallet. <laughs> Dude, I look fantastic. I got I got my hush puppies on. On this <laughs> night, I showered. Yeah. I showered. On this, this night, on this night only, <laughs> I had deodorant. <laughs> what kind of was it? I mean, I even I tucked the laces of my boots in just to be just so they wouldn't dangle out from my nice jeans. Um, but I'm wearing a nice button-down Zara. Uh, Zara. Uh, no, no, this is Zara. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zara's right. nice things. All right, Zara's nice. Hey, if you nice. want to. Those. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is that? Yeah, no, yeah, we have like a one of those thing. He's one. Oh, of he's like, one, I'm of one of those. those. Oh, you're one, one of those. those. But, you, but you go to Zara. You're one of those. My wife goes there, and then I went around the men's not section. I'm like, I'll wear this. One of those is not that bad, but it's he's one of those. Okay. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, you should take it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I went in there, yep. and they're like, uh, you know, the always like the hostess is like 20, yep. and always acts better than the restaurant. Yeah. And it's like we have a dress code, and I'm like, okay. And they're like, you have to have a blazer. I'm like, I don't, I don't even own one. And uh, which that doesn't help in that conversation. No, <laughs> no, that actually makes I don't even way. own one. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> you know, <I> already <laughs> Just did. say you forgot yours. <laughs> yeah. Sultan, I'll be honest. It sounds like the restaurant could have the bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we call the restaurant and have the, the, the girl, the twat that worked the front desk on the show? My bone is when the guy shows up, and they know there's a dress coat, shows up in boot jeans. I mean, and they don't even own a blazer. They yeah. told us that. He, he's wearing a Henley from Zara. <laughs> so they draped, they draped a big, ad, and it probably didn't fit. Did you it? know why it they do that, though? It's, it's, the, it's the code of shame. <laughs> yeah. There's shame. No, cigar, cigar lounges have it. Uh, there's a cigar lounge that has, if you don't have a collared shirt, yeah. uh, or they'll give you, they put something over you, and you have to have, uh, if, you, if you have sneakers, they'll give you slippers. Yeah. So they, that's but he, better? No, you're right. No, he, <laughs> no he, he, that's he, actually right. So that everybody goes, he's over there. Yeah. <laughs> Where? There. Oh, I see him. It was embarrassing. It is embarrassing. It's my birthday, and they put on this. This thing must have been 
<laughs> it was like covering my hands. I looked like a hooker that came in from the rain, and someone nicely put this giant That's coat crazy. on me. You look like Julia Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> you look yeah, like Paul, you yeah. sitting with Richard Gere. <laughs> she, she had to put the stupid jacket on. <laughs> That's what. And then, and then, because it's a really nice restaurant, and my wife in the reservation said it was my birthday. On the way to our table, throughout the entire dining room, every server. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, Just to draw more attention uh, into the me. The fact that they knew it was your birthday, they should have went out and bought your, a blazer for you. They're fit. <laughs> they should have. So you know yeah, what, sir? Step when, it up a notch. Or how about this? What? How about this? Okay? Say to me you don't even own a blazer. We'll, we'll go like this. Oh, excuse me, sir. We have a dress code. You need a blazer? I don't even own one. No, he's... You know what, though? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's doing it right. No, he's doing it right. He's doing it right. <laughs> No, you, we do act outs on the show. Oh, we do act outs. I'm sorry. You're the twat at the front desk. Oh, I'm the twat. No, no, no. I didn't. All right. No, oh, he did it right. You did it right. Oh. No, you did it right. So you don't even have a blazer? You know what? You're the guy whose birthday it is? Yes. I mean, I, yeah, I think, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was trying to help. You. I know, yeah. <laughs> so bad at acting. Yeah. Yeah. It's your birthday. I was doing a Michael Caine. You know what? Look. Hello. My name is Michael Caine. You want to look in that eye if the camera's on this eye. Look in this eye. So your face is towards the camera. You know what? Normally we wouldn't do this. It's your birthday. Go in have, next time. Just have a blazer next time. Okay? Happy birthday. That's that's what you do. How about this? Ready? Do it with me. Okay. Sir, do you, you have a dress code here? You have to have a blazer. I don't. I don't even have, own one. Okay, sir. Well, we're gonna let you in without the blazer, but your girl has to have sex with me. <laughs> Because <laughs> it sounds like a cult restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's. I know they're being old school and cool and all that. But, but can like, I say something? I don't mean yeah. to cut you off. Mike no. was the one to. Mike was the one to refer you to this. Oh. So let's talk about this for a let's second. Talk about this bone. So Mike, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is called the bone in a bone. Yeah. This okay. Is a, and this is not your fault. This, this is, is the tibula to the yeah, fibula. When, when a friend, <laughs> when Save a that, when, yeah, when a friend says, "Hey, buddy, it's yes. your birthday, and you and your girl are going for your birthday. You gotta go to Riverside or whatever, just so you know. Yes, you gotta be dressed up. But oh, this yeah. fucking foodie just yeah. thought about the menu. Yeah, this and is did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he boy, has you showing you. up like you're just fucking weed whack for an knew. hour. <laughs> you knew. You knew this. Yeah. Hippie was gonna show up. <laughs> fucking... You know, Mike probably goes, just tuck your t boot laces in. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they'll be fine. Tuck you, your boot laces in. You know this. You, you know gotta you... wear socks with your sandals. In this, place. <laughs> this, you know, this is you part know him, him, dude. This, this is, is part Mike. him. <laughs> Mike knew your bone is not with the restaurant. <laughs> your bone is with your shitty friend who set you up to look like a <laughs> fucking hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> what did you ask me? What did you, you, you and Emma asked me? We just asked for your top restaurant recommendations. But you spe specified fancy. Yes. Like a yes. nice fancy place. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Like with good food. So isn't that the onus when they say fancy, he knows it's fancy? No, no. Fancy okay. to him is fucking. Uh, to be fair, fuck. I've never eaten there. I dated a waitress there for a long time. So I knew it was very fancy. I didn't know you had to wear a jacket until he told me. You never been? No, never. But I know it's amazing. And I read a book by a guy that would, used to work there. And it was. I, it was well, in the front page, <laughs> wasn't it? It's kind of fancy. You got to wear a jacket. Did it have illustrations of people with giant yeah. coats on? Because they <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> when, when you, when, what the fuck, Mike? You set him up to look like a fool. What am I going to give him my jacket? It'll be worse than the one he got. Well, you could have done. He might have went to Zara and picked up a coat on the way there. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I should have warned him. I you should have warned up. him. You can't recommend something unless you tell. You know. Because when somebody says to me, I'll give you a perfect example. Somebody goes, Paul, I'm in New York. Where should I go to the cigar lounge? I'll say, Club Macanudo is great. Guess Hi. what? Collared shirt, yep. no sneakers. You have yeah, to you say have to. that to oh, or, or, or if you want to go just whatever, go to Soho. So, so, so yeah. dark. I would always suggest Soho first, but yes. Yeah, because you know somebody's probably got sneakers. They're you gotta, probably yeah, wearing. You yeah, go yeah. down. What about it's his a wife hang. who made the reservation, and then the girl that made look, the reservation? Turning, no, no, look, no. He's no. turning it on your wife. No, no, no. no wow. No. I can't agree with you on that one, but <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> when she I made mean, the reservation, the lady, the girl said, and told her it was his birthday. Why did she go? Great. Clearly, it's a special event. Just as a reminder, because they we don't think going. Riff Raff is going to show up. <laughs> this, they didn't think Applebee's fucking Zara was going to come up. Yeah, you're right. Zoltan was going to come. Uh, I am trailer park. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, he, I when you said, I knew up in a trailer yeah, park. Yeah. I knew it was a problem when he said I wore my finest jeans. <laughs> I should have sent him to the Taco really, Bell canteen. You really, just don't have show really, jeans? He really, yeah. <laughs> like, really, like jeans you only wear on stage? I he, brought those out. He grew up literally in a trailer park. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Single yeah. wide. Yeah. So, like, I, here's the thing. 
Every time I do dress nice, yeah. I have this little self-conscious thing. I'm like, everyone can tell. Wait, what do you mean yeah. single wide? Because uh, there's, there's not a, different. It's not big. <laughs> yeah. it's, they couldn't there's, afford a double it's like wide. It's like the tinny. Yeah, it's a it's single break wide. Break with a can opener? It's a, tra it's a trailer. It's no, a trailer. But, but it's, it's a single wide. They it's make not, double wide. They make double wides, okay. which are, if you make a little more money. Yeah. It, What's the difference between a double wide and a single wide? Bigger and. Uh, an extra 20 grand a year. Yeah. Okay, and much uh, more of, space. Of income, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Much, much, much more space. So, when you walk down the hall, you don't have to do this yeah. while your mother comes down yeah. and slide by each other. You don't oh, have okay. to shit and shower in the same room. <laughs> like, okay. Like you sit on the door. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we're relax. It was San Diego. I mean, no, I mean, it was a San Diego trailer park, so it wasn't like it was totally a hillbilly. No, it was a fancy. Yeah. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't near the beach. Did you have a lawn? Yeah, we did. We still do. You still have the trailer. Uh, yeah, my mom still lives there. Well, she, fucking get your shit together and make some she money. She won't take my money. Oh, really? Or I offered her a little bit, but she's like, my mom's Hungarian, old school. She doesn't. Right. She, she thinks I don't have a real job because right. she doesn't respect what I do. So like, uh, <laughs> she thinks the money is not acceptable. So she, she, really? She thinks. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, she's happy for me, but she doesn't like <laughs> think this is a job. So reading fortunes and going thinner. That's, <laughs> that's a job. But uh, <laughs> telling telling jokes. Okay, all right, I got you. That's that's actually very. I'm bringing that up next time. That's really funny. Wow. All right, man. That Dude, was a great bone. This was that, that was, was so a good great. bone and a bone. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Mike. You're part of that. Thank you. I apologize. <laughs> you I should should, have told you. Yeah, putting yeah. a jacket on people, especially if it's like you know. It's but like, listen, dude. You know, you got to know where you're going. You got to know where you're going. And Mike set him up for failure. Yeah. He went in thinking this is going to be awesome. I'm going to wear my best my best Wranglers <laughs> and my best shirt. Yeah. And he probably felt fantastic and showed up and then got a nice hot one right in the face, <laughs> realizing, yeah, buddy, not yet. <laughs> Hey, Eminem, you ain't, you ain't past eight mile yet. <laughs> you know what he would have done? What? He would have called him and it would have not. I wouldn't have went. What? Do it to me. What do you mean? Do it to me. Tell me you're the girl. And oh. I'm, I, hey, what's going on? Uh, reservation for Kelly, too? It's my birthday. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they told you, but uh, we have a dress code here and uh, you, you have to have a blazer on. Cool. Go fuck yourself. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to go get some dim sum down the street. <laughs> But thanks so much. Enjoy your shitty fucking restaurant. Okay, trash. Bye. Yeah, fuck you. You're trash too. You okay, can't even afford uh, well, to fucking eat here. How's that? You could eat. I work fucking, here, sir. You could eat scraps in the back that the fucking cooks make. No, my, I work yeah. here, sir. Have I your have. fucking Spanish rice after the show. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> they don't get to eat the same food. I used to work in a restaurant. <laughs> you know, do you think that broad gets to eat at this place? No uh, way. Uh, Dude, oh. what a great, uh, great thing! What a great episode! Well, you know what we got now. This is the funnest part of the show. Oh, okay. We go to fan bones. Yeah. So what happens yeah, is so now the fans the, write in. The fans write in. We started yeah. so it was just us. Then the fans would started sending stuff on. They sent thousands of emails. Wow. On their bones because we're solving the world's problems one, one bone, bone at a time. time. We're fixing the world. Instead of getting angry, <laughs> instead of shooting somebody, instead of stabbing your husband, cutting his penis off, you said what? You send it. <laughs> you send it into us. And we help you with your so you, bones. You don't have to follow her home now and tr set her house on fire. What? He doesn't have to follow her or stalk her now what? because he got it out. You don't have to fire. You don't have to light anybody on fire. No, no, no just stalk her. Yeah, don't tell a kid that grew up on a trailer that, to, about, about lighting people on fire. You know what, fire. dude? Great, great bone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Right, Ready? Let's go. Fan bones, Mikey. Fan bones. All right, here we go. We got Stephanie. We got a lady bone coming in. This is why I love this show. <clears throat> yeah. Because kids, families, girls, yeah. women watch this show. Yeah. I love it. It's for everybody. It's, it's not true. everybody. Black, white, brown, female, yep. male, them, theys. Whatever you are. Watch the show. Whatever you are. It's you like get Mr. To... Rogers. It's for everybody. <laughs> Oh, well, that wasn't for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure trans kids weren't watching. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like, a boy is a boy and a girl is a girl. And oh, there was yeah. a couple kids going, what? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> All right, speaking of restaurants, uh, Stephanie has a bone to pick with restaurants that jack the AC up so high in the summer that you are left shivering in your shorts and short sleeves inside the restaurant I, I i can't i gotta be honest i, I can't I, I i stephanie i i'm happy you're a fan no. I, i'm happy you're a fan i know you're gonna i appreciate do it. I know what? you're gonna do listen it. 
I, I'm happy you're a fan. No. I, I love that you love the show oh, and God, you watch the show it. and that you submit just to the show, but I, I can't get behind this one. I, I'm 100% behind you. When I go to a restaurant you, and Patreon, I'm- You, Patreon, you disgust. No, I am not. I'm, just, I'm definitely behind you, Stephanie. Yeah, no. I am. You know what? Dress a no, no. It's gonna be fun. Oh, wear if it's a fucking triple to, fat goose to a jacket. No, it's to, 95, to a restaurant. It's ninety five degrees. This guy outside. had to wear a fucking dumb jacket. You against that? <laughs> Listen, if, you go to a restaurant. There's a temperature that is good for everybody. Okay, seventy two degrees. 68 degrees, 72, in that middle range, it's cool, it's nice. When you go to a restaurant, you shouldn't think about the environment at all. The only thing you should think about is the food, the atmosphere. You should walk in and feel awesome. You shouldn't have to walk in wearing a fucking triple XL jacket. <laughs> you shouldn't walk in and be cold. You shouldn't be going, it's a little cold in here. You shouldn't do that. You should walk in, sit down, and start conversation. Oh, you know and what? I'll order give you some that. stuff. I'll give you and that. then boom and bap. And there is a there is a temperature that everybody, even people who like it cold or people who like it a little warmer, is a mid-range where you don't you shouldn't feel it. You should just sit down, temperature, light. I hate you, you shouldn't have to do any of that. You should sit down, eat. But can and I say enjoy something? Some people are sensitive to there are some people, you know the people that are always cold? They're always cold. Yeah. No matter, even when everybody else is comfortable, they go, is it cold in here? Is it so I'm sure this restaurant can't be going under 68. Telling, I, I've been to restaurants she's talking to where me and my wife are like this. And then we go, <laughs> hey, hey is it, it's kind of cold in here. And then, then they come up, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the manager likes you cold in here. Well, I don't give a fuck what he likes. That fat diabetic motherfucker. <laughs> what? What? I don't fucking... Where's she from? Does it say she's from Arizona? Uh, she, no, she's from uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, there you go. North Shore. Good, good girl. I, I know what you're talking about. You go to a restaurant, the temper should, should be for everybody. And they'll, yeah, there'll be somebody who's like, it's cold. But you're a weirdo. Bring a jacket. And they probably usually do. People who have problems with heat or cold usually will wear something less or something more. Have it with them at all times. Girls always carry I a I think when them. you go to a restaurant, you should have, and this is literally not a jab at you. <laughs> you should have a little something. Like a little, like. You should carry a jacket with you at all times. <laughs> What's I, I think 70 degrees, 69, 70 degrees is normal. Yeah, it's yeah, normal. It's and she's talking but, but about she lower than that. She could be freezing in that. No, no, she's not. She's not talking that. I've been to those restaurants where you go in and it's just some a meat vent, <laughs> a vent shooting down cold air okay. on you. And I've been to restaurants that are too hot. You're like, it's hot in here. Oh, I mean, that's why I said I'd rather be cold. When you're on a plane, right? Oh, you got to be cold. Mm. When you're on a plane, though, you have control of it. Yeah. You can shut that sucker off. You want to get a little cold? Go ahead. If you want to get warm, shut it down. You want yeah. to get hotter? Open up the window. Yeah, I mean, well, I choose I choose cool over hot anytime. I, look, I hear you, but I want I don't want to feel it. You shouldn't have to feel the heat. The the heat because most people are the same. You shouldn't have to feel the heat. You shouldn't have to squint at your menu. You shouldn't have to do it. You should go in you and should. none of the none of your the only sense that you should be feeling is when you take a bite and you put that in your mouth and you go fucking wow, wow. Mm. that's the best. This is great. I you love know this something. Place. You know something. I'll give you that. You, 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 you. I flipped your you, bone. You, you did. You flipped it. Yeah, I flipped your bone. That was beautiful. It. What do no. you? <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful to see, especially well, yeah. how you guys started. How yeah. do you? How do you feel? <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I agree with her, yeah. but not because I get cold. Because usually it's my wife that gets cold. And then she ends up under the vent oh. getting blasted, and then we have to switch. Oh. And then now I'm getting blasted. Which? How about just don't put a table there? How about just eat it? Just be like, we don't make money in this square footage. Yeah, hey, because that's where the vent is, and we, no one has to sit there. Well, how about just put the temperature, right? Right. Where it's normal. No, but he's right. You shouldn't get anything blowing on you, even if it is normal. I hear you. But I don't want a draft while I'm eating a yeah. steak. Yeah, it, it's stupid. It's yeah. stupid to have that shit table. It's stupid to have the restaurant uncomfortable. The environment uncomfortable at all is dumb, and that's usually because of the waitresses or waiters or the manager. They, they That's their thing. Like a person like you is the what? manager, you know, because you like it cold. I, no, I like it you, you comfortable. You said cold. You said cold. Cooler you than hot. You said cool. 68, 69. You said cold. Colder. You said cold. No, I didn't say cold. He said cold. He said Rewind. I, I, hit the, hit the, <laughs> oh, if you're watching, bing, 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 I don't bing, mean freezing, seconds. though. I meant I'd rather that, what you she said. You said cold. And she also said I got little shorts on, didn't she? Yeah. You said when you go in in the summer, and you're like sweaty yeah. and coming yeah. in out of the sun, and now it's freezing. Yeah, you shouldn't have to go from death to death. You should go from death to this is nice. 
this is nice. It's true. Because right. yeah. there's the same problem the other way in the winter. Sometimes they'll set something oh. up outside. Or even if it's outside and they blast those heat things oh, on you fuck. and you're like, well, this isn't better. It's not My better. face is on fire. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. You want to be cold? Go eat outside in the winter, you weirdo. You stupid seal eating Alaskan. Oh, God. <laughs> seal eating Alaskan. <laughs> Someone sent a video. Oh! oh. With us. Ready? Ready? We one. do three. Oh. One. One. Two. two. Three, video bone, video bone, video bone. <laughs> video bone. Video bone. These are our I favorite. did one extra. Yeah, <laughs> this, it's all right. I love your enthusiasm. Yeah, I love it. Here's the thing. We had we started out with fan bones email, and then they just started so sending, sending videos. In. And now these are our favorite thing. Video bone right here. Oh, this, this is guy's. from a guy named. He just goes by Art of Flight. That's okay. all the only name he gave. Here we go. Yo, I have a bone to pick, and it's just this. People that go to a park or a public area and they just sit in their car. I go to the park, you know, I go to a skate park every day on my lunch from work and consistently there's these people that just sit in their in their car like uh, some momos. I don't know what the deal is, I don't know what they're doing, if they're, you know, but no, it's people that go to a park or, a, you know, any sort of public space and you just see them they're sitting in there and they just sit and it's you could i don't know i don't know why it bugs me you could be outside it's like you're so close you're at, you know just, <laughs> i don't know man these recluses but i don't know but, hey, love the show i don't know if this will get on but you guys are great i look forward to it every week ah see you bye what's his name <laughs> this is art of flight that's yeah, you're so close doing. i love that you're so close <laughs> yeah, yeah, so close to the park <laughs> you're so close to Earth. <laughs> well, he makes a good point because you could actually do that in your driveway. You, you could do how that about your house. Like you could just do. Yeah. How about like, your house? Go to a movie, you weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. if I drove to well, a you know, park, you know why? <laughs> but let me just say this. Let me just say this. You know why they're going to a park? Pedophiles? What Is the it? fuck, man? <laughs> Wow. What? I mean, you just go to the no. end of everything. What do you mean? You go right to the end. No, I'm just saying, like, you said yeah, I know why they go. they go to the park to watch, you know, middle-aged guys with beards skateboard. <laughs> That's why the guy okay. was there. <laughs> well, they go to the, a lot of guys, older guys go to the park because it's one of sure. those, what? No, what were you going to say? <laughs> you know, they, it's one of those, they, they go there to, you know, meet other dudes. Oh. At a skate park? What? I guess I don't know. <laughs> what, what, well, well, apparently you do. Hey, why do well, you go to the park? <laughs> I, I go to the park to, with my kid, but uh, that sounds weird. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I used to have a, a friend of mine, a gay friend of mine, right? And uh, nobody who's in the closet, Italian guy too. Yeah, just you knew. No, no, <laughs> okay, me, good. me, and a couple of the comics knew. He was a comic. At okay. The time. And uh, Italian guy, real. I mean, full fucking deep mob guys. And uh, we, we were driving to a gig one night, and we were driving by <laughs> Revere Beach. And I grew up in Revere Beach. I used to go get girls here all the time. And we're driving by, and he's like, dude, that's the uh, spot I drove by a million times. Never even noticed. He goes, that's the cruising spot. I go, what's cruising? He goes, that's where, you know, you ever see a guy sitting there in his car alone? I'm like, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. He goes, right there. See that guy? I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, they're waiting for other dudes. They suck each other off in their cars. Whoa. And I was like, what? He goes, yeah, that's, that's what gay guys do. I was, they have spots that they'll go. And so now he ruined it for me. Because now every time I drove by with like Dawn or somebody, like, that guy's going to get, see that guy? <laughs> that guy's right. Probably some poor guy just tr contemplating suicide. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to kill myself. Wait, my wife's like dead. Park? My like dog's dead. Park? I go and bankrupt. Just at a, at a, park? at a beach. Oh, at a public a beach. beach. Oh. On the strip. And now that was the spot where dudes would go. And they would meet other dudes at what? certain times. What a secret menu that is. Yeah. Like, how do you, how you, gotta, you even you have, to wear, you have to wear a jacket, though. <laughs> uh, if you go to the car, like, I'm not blowing That'd you. That'd be funny if you just see Zolta get out with an oversized coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's over his fingers. He looks like fucking Tom Hanks and Big when he shrunk. A guy, a guy gets in the car and goes, I'm sorry, this is the dress-up portion of the, of the stroll of the cruise. <laughs> Listen. But yeah, that is a weird thing, man, because a public place, yeah, especially a park, get out, walk around. You're sitting in the car. You look like you're fucking, you're either yeah. a CIA or you're, you, you're there to do some, you know, mischievous shit, you know? That's what you said, mafia. That's weird, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's yeah. a hell of a beard that guy had. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, let me see your balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Take your dick out before I whack you, you cucks. <laughs> He's like the Sopranos blowing a security guard in his truck. I was thinking we get a slice and then we no. suck each other off. When, when, he was, when he was dressed in the fucking with the leather hat and the guy bumped him. No, it's a it's a joke. Oh, it's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a it's a goof. It's a <laughs> joke. Yeah. You yeah. were just blowing that guy. It's a goof. It's a, hey. it's a I love I uh, love skateboarding. You know what? I gotta yeah. tell you, that was a good one. This was one of my favorite episodes, brother. Oh, thank you for so having good, me. So good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you, for you enjoyed me. it. Special right now. Tell the people what your yes. special is. On YouTube, uh, Honorary Jones. I don't know why I'm pointing. Uh, Zoltan okay. Cassis. Please watch it. Go check it out. Very funny stand-up. Check out all his stand-up. What's your website? Uh, ZoltanComedy.com. Go check out his website. Find out where he's playing near you. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you coming on. I, I'm, I hope you had fun. Dude, that was a blast. Thanks that for was having great. both uh, of you. And you. make sure you go to patreon.com slash bone to pick cast. Make, sure, yeah, make and, sure you go to our YouTube channel and you click the subscribe button. And please rate and review the show, guys. Leave comments. It moves the show up. And if you want to send your bones in, go to uh, uh, bone to pick cast at gmail.com. You can send your bones in. If you want them to go to right to the top, video bones, regular bones, photo bones, join that Patreon we use those guys first, and we do an extra episode every week of fan bones, just fan bones that you guys send it to. We have thousands of them, and we're gonna get to every single one of them. We promise, and we'll see you guys next week on a Bone, a Bone to Pick, Pick podcast. podcast.